Happy Friday, Moz fans. Today, I want to give you a bit of a sneak peek into a recently published uh, stat white paper. Now, this white paper, it'll probably be linked below. This is looking at the top SERP features of 2024, comparing that with, with a similar period at the start of 2023, sort of see what's what's changed and what's most prominent on the on the SERPs right now. Now, this this is the first two weeks of 2024 that, that we looked at here. So this is January 1st to January 14th. Usual, so Mozcast uh, keyword corpus, so 10,000 head terms, US plus UK, smartphone plus desktop. So 40,000 keywords a day times uh, 14 days. And I just want to talk you through what I think are some of the highlights, some of the most interesting stories uh, in this data uh, for this period. Now, I, I should offer a quick uh, disclaimer. I, I've done my best here, but no rulers were harmed in the making of these, uh, these charts. So they're not exactly to, to scale, I suspect. So please, please forgive me uh, on that one. But yeah, so if I, if I just briefly talk about how to, to look at this chart, so we've got 2024, 99% uh, of the SERPs we looked at, this is present, so 99% of the SERPs we looked at contained a related search feature during this period, uh, which is up from 84%, the, the non-filled in bar, 84% in 2023. So basically this has gone from being nearly ubiquitous to being ubiquitous. Probably not that interesting a story, but this, this was the most common uh, SERP feature. Now, videos, I think, is more of an interesting story. and the, the most interesting part of it isn't actually shown here, which is in, in 2023, videos as a SERP feature were more common on, uh, on desktop, which kind of makes sense. You know, desktop's got the bandwidth, the screen real estate, the processing power uh, for videos. It's actually flipped, though. In 2024, videos have massively shot up in prevalence on, uh, on smartphone SERPs. And now they're more common on smartphone than desktop. So I think that's really interesting. I guess that's the TikTokification maybe of, of SERPs, shows what Google might be, might be thinking, and also probably shows how bandwidth and devices are improving over time. I should say also that carousel and images. So these are two quite closely related features. Uh, a lot of carousels are image carousels. So there's, there's some overlap. Uh, where you know some features might be counted in, in both of these sets of bars. And there's a similar story where a lot of this year-on-year -year gain in the frequency that we saw carousel and images, a lot of that gain has come from smartphone uh, SERPs. People also ask maybe not so much of, a, um, of an interesting, uh, interesting story here. And I think sort of similar to, similar to related search, you might look at these and say, oh, well, you know, these are interesting and useful for keyword research, perhaps. But as an SEO, there's, I don't see that much opportunity when I look at people also ask and, and related search. I see research opportunities, but not necessarily a feature that I can appear in and get traffic from uh, myself. So some of these stories become more interesting when instead of uh, presence, we look at share of voice. So share of voice is, is a metric we have in stats that rather than just looking at how many SERPs a, a feature appears on, looks at how prominently it appears. So you might have looked at something like this yourself if you've ever tried to estimate traffic by looking at click-through rates and volumes and this kind of thing. So basically, if, if more searches are seeing something in, in position one as opposed to position 10, then it'll be a feature will be rewarded for that in, in share of voice. You know, it's getting a lot more uh, visibility. So, when we look at the top five by share of voice, we get a very different ranking. Notably, we have places which didn't even make it into the top five for presence. Places is now in position one for, uh, for share of voice. And what that reflects is that although a lot of SERPs obviously don't have a local pack, places is another word for local pack, when, when it does appear, it's, it's big and it's at the top, right? So uh, this is actually down a little bit in share of voice year on year, even though that's not true for, for presence for this feature. So what that reflects is that Google is maybe more willing to put something above a local pack than it was uh, a year ago. Now, at Carousel, we, we talked about a little bit already, and I think the increase in, in shared voice for Carousel reflects that a lot of different kinds of, of feature are sort of gradually moving up in, uh, in prominence as opposed to organic. Uh, 
the knowledge graph change, this is mainly driven by uh, smartphone SERPs. So Stat is a, is a rank tracker, obviously. So we're interested in the main column of, of search results, not the sidebar. So if I, if I say knowledge graph, you might think of the, the sidebar that you often get that's sort of Wikipedia focused. This is not about that. This is about the things you get in the main column of, of rankings. So for example, dictionary results, uh, currency conversion, uh, weather. If you ever search like the cast of a film or something like that, and you get these big knowledge graph results at the top of the SERP, these have gone up significantly year on year. And that's especially true, hugely true on, on smartphone. Again, there's a lot of things crowding out organic basically on, on smartphone at this point. Uh, and then people also ask, so this is a little bit down, so appearing further down the SERP uh, year on year. But I think, because uh, we talked about how it, you know, it was roughly even on presence, and yet it's, it's gone down in share of voice. So that indicates it's probably just moved down the SERP even when it's still appearing. What's interesting is, so th this is just, this is based on current sort of public um, SERPs. But if you do look at opt-in SGE sort of test SERPs, in a lot of cases, uh, PAA is replaced by a feature called uh, or what we're calling ask a follow-up question, which takes you through to a chat interface. So this drop is maybe a sign of things to come that Google could be looking at different ways of, of solving for this problem in the future. And then news, news, it, I think this, again, this looks like a small drop because it's 1.3 to 0.9, but that's actually quite large, right? That's, that's in the region of a third uh, less share of voice because news, news results don't appear on that many SERPs, so this ends up being quite significant change. And uh, this, this is actually driven by just fewer SERPs having a news results on them even than, than last year. And in a lot of cases, uh, we, we think this might be driven by an increase in features like uh, discussions and forums, which is kind of interesting because that's there's certainly much more disinformation risk, right, with a feature like discussions and forums than there would be with, with news, where Google has in the past been quite rigorous with what they'll accept as a, as a news result. And we've also seen Google removing the news tab for, in some tests from, from search results. So this is, you know, again, maybe a sign of things to come, but not that, not that rosy a sign of things to come, I'm afraid. Uh, and uh, similarly with, with organic, you can see, 40% to 34%, it's, it's getting increasingly rare to see organic links as the top items on a, on a SERP. And that is particularly true on, on smartphone. It's actually down to uh, 28%. I've, I've written that quite poorly, but it's down to 28% now on, uh, on smartphone, which, you know, there's, that, again, that's, that's a very small number, really. You know, that's get, getting close to only a quarter of, of share of voice going to you know, organic results on, on smartphone SERPs. So yeah, a lot to think about there, a lot of reason to try and engage with some of these, these other features if you are an, if you are an SEO. Uh, I, hope that, I hope you found that interesting and not too sort of um, concerning. There's, there's lots more information. You can read more about this in, in the white paper, which I mentioned, which I think will be linked below. Thank you.